guys you welcome back Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you are well What's the biggest lie you have ever heard or you have believed without even objecting or you have convinced yourself even though you know that it's not certainly true you probably are thinking about a file of things well i think one of the biggest lie ever this generation or the earlier generation had been taught is men and women can be friends without having any additional intentions well i'm not here to tell you what's haram and what's not that's not my area to talk about but we generally can discuss and benefit from this now all the college men and women and even teenagers out there think like Islam is so hard man all rules everything is haram man i can't enjoy my life well i understand these ideas and thoughts because i do have lived that type of life wallahi islam is a logical and beneficial and the best thing that has ever happened to me or even you or anybody ask those people who revert or who start practicing in unpracticing environment so brothers and sisters can men and women be only friends I want to present a very logical non-muslim perspective. Watch this clip first. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm I'm incapable of that. Mm. Uh, Why? Uh, What do you mean? Well, because you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Well, I have a wife and I don't I don't really have female friends because look Okay. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> I want to know. Okay, I'm going to tell you that. Let's get rid of this. Right that you you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, "Yeah, I'm we're friends." No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. Mm. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, mm. a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. Men think this way? Uh, 99.9% of us think that way. Mm. And you tell this to a woman and it just blows her back. Mm. No, I have male friends. You have male friends because they know it can be nothing else right now. Mm. I tell you what. All your male friends, just ask them in a friendly way. If if I wanted to date you, would you be okay with that? And watch watch the fireworks. <laughs> watch. <laughs> Masha Allah, some real truth has been spilled. Are the sisters shocked or brothers convinced? You can let me know in the comment section. We read all of them. Steve Harvey Most of you might be familiar. He's an American television host, actor, writer, producer, and comedian. He hosts the Steve Harvey Morning Show and many others. I don't really watch these, but few of his clips are motivational, aren't they? He told the truth in the English language. Did you get that? Well, one thing I want to say is maybe your intentions are good, but you can never know what the other person is thinking behind his mm. mind. You can't read other guys mind, can you? Mm-mm. Probably we all can wish to read others mind to only know what a human mind is capable of. Mm. Honestly, think about are you genuinely being friends with someone? Please don't waste your time on such things which are nothing but heartache and headache. It's shocking. Steve Harvey don't have female friends and he even told the reason. He's talking about the fitra of a human nature. Islam segregates gender for a reason. so you are protected and not misused mm. islam prohibits friendship with opposite gender it's for a reason but movies promote this nonsense like crazy they just want to make money out of it and they change your view because mind believes what it sees so brothers and sisters please be careful about things you are watching so how do you deal with it learn to have respectful decent conversation with opposite gender if necessary dua is ibada Take out some time in seclusion with Allah and tell him what's bothering you. Ask Allah for halal and ask Allah to make you overcome your desires and problems. So brothers and sisters, can men and women be only friends? Just being honest? No. Mm. This is the lie we are fed and we ended up believing to a certain extent. Brothers and sisters, I hope we are able to present this topic without disappointing you. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Wow. I understand 
what this is all about so, I me mean, i believe that when you get to a certain stage in your life there's some friendship you don't need especially the opposite sex you don't need it opposite gender you don't need it because you cannot tell me as a lady you have male friends and you think they will not make advances at you be it you are especially even though you are married they don't mind if you are giving them the attention see you find you start finding them attractive because they'll be one of them that you you give more attention to than your other male friends and you find them attractive to just like you not appreciate your husband you not have time for your husband and things and you say okay when you're still single or you're in a relationship you'll be like okay since i'm not married i can keep friends even when you're in a relationship it's not even proper for for you to keep you know opposite genders friends because you can't expect them to have good intentions no you can't i've met a lot of guys i've tried my best to make male friends but it never worked and i've i've quit trying i don't want to try again because they are all looking for one thing they just want the you know the, the just to waste your time you know the sexual part they're just sexually attracted to me i mean i just need a, a male friends that we can you know give ideas we can talk about business we can you know i'm not so i'm not i don't want a male friends that would tell my secrets no i don't love i don't even like telling people my secrets you get it but i needed because me i believe that when it comes to gender you know opposite um, a male friend will tend to understand well and could give you a better idea without envy because your your same gender might envy you might my, my, you know if you tell her your ideas or you ask for ideas she might not tell you or, and or she might envy you but no matter what no matter what it's better you keep the same gender than saying you want to keep opposite gender as friends when you get it gets a certain age cut them off because they'll come and ruin your marriage you come and ruin your, your relationship it's better to just stay alone it's good to and again when it comes to the same gender you have to be careful because not all friends are friends <laughs> not all friends you can tell your secrets don't say that because okay uh because of male gender they are this to me so let me keep female friends be be very careful with the kind of female friends you pick you get be careful with your circle it's very important because some people are easily influenced by friends even though you're not easily influenced one way or the other you will find yourself doing something that you don't want to do or you you might not even notice that this this friend this so-called friend of yours is envious of you and is you no know, bad mouthing you out there so i love the answer steve steven gave even though when he first said no i don't have friends and he laughed like it was a difficult question how do you want me to explain it it's like but it's understandable you reach a certain age that you don't need there's some kind of people or find of friendship you don't need to keep you don't need it this was beautiful i really enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye